April 10th. On this day we keep the memory of the Holy Haramat Gregory V, Patriarch of Constantinople, who died by hanging. Born in 1745 in the bosom of a poor family in the Peloponnese, Saint Gregory received his earliest education from his uncle, who was a Haram monk, and then he went to live with him in Smyrna. Becoming a monk in the monastery on the island of the Strophades, he completed his theological studies on Patmos. On his return to Smyrna, Metropolitan Procopius, who showed him a fatherly affection, made him archdeacon and then ordained him a priest. When Procopius was elevated to the Patriarchate in 1788, he consecrated Gregory to succeed him. For twelve years, the Holy Hierarch governed the great and wealthy city of Smyrna, the metropolis of Hellenism in Asia Minor, with wisdom and apostolic zeal. He had several churches rebuilt there, founded schools and organized a system of charity for the underprivileged. In 1797, he was elected ecumenical patriarch and immediately undertook to enhance the patriarchal dignity by having the Fanar Palace rebuilt. He also founded a publishing house in which he edited books in the vernacular, which contributed greatly to the cultural and spiritual awakening of the Greek people. The Holy Hierarch was vigilant about the strict observance of the ecclesiastical canons and the moral rectitude of the clergy. In those troubled times, when the Greeks, who had been held under the Ottoman yoke for almost four centuries, were brewing up for a general uprising, the Patriarch, aware of his pastoral responsibilities, exerted himself to temper the warlike spirits while secretly nurturing national feeling. After just a year and a half, he was denounced to the Sultan by some bishops whom he had reprimanded for their conduct, and he was exiled to Chalcedon and then to the monastery of Eviron on the holy mountain Athos. During this forced stay on Athos, the saint visited all the monasteries. He preached the word of God and was a model of monastic life to all. He then gave his blessing to Saint Ephemius, whom we celebrate on March 22nd, to go and offer himself for martyrdom and expressed his joy and his pride at the news of the martyrdom of Saint Agathangelus, whom we celebrate on the 19th of April, thus showing that he considered death for love of Christ to be the supreme goal and crown of the Christian life. Recalled to the Patriarchate in 1806, he was received with enthusiasm by the Christian people of Constantinople and courageously resumed his pastoral work and the raising of moral standards among the clergy. But in 1808, a coup d'etat brought Sultan Mehmed II to power. He constrained Gregory to retire and with, to withdraw to the island of Principos and then again to Mount Athos, where he resumed his patristic studies and his ascetic life, keeping himself informed, meanwhile, of the situation in the church and among the people. In 1818, he was contacted by members of the Friendly Society, which was a secret society that was preparing for revolution by trying to bring together and coordinate the various scattered forces. Gregory showed his support for the cause of liberty with enthusiasm, but judging that the time was not yet ripe, he advised patience. A very short later, he was recalled for the third time to the ecumenical throne, and he resumed his activity, especially encouraging the foundation of schools in which the pupils could receive a Hellenic formation. He also organized a mercy fund which received funds from affluent Greeks for the aid of the needy Christians. As soon as a greatly disorganized insurrection of the Greeks from the Danube principalities began on the 1st of February 1821, there immediately followed terrible and bloody reprisals in Constantinople and in the great centers of the Ottoman Empire. The Turks massacred all the eminent men who had links with the principalities and arrested four bishops. When the government had given the order for all the eminent Greek families of Constantinople to assemble at the Fana, 
the patriarch in the hope of avoiding a massacre, made himself answerable for their allegiance at the sublime port. Not content with this declaration, the Sultan forced St. Gregory to sign the excommunication of the leader of the insurrection and his companions. On March 31st, a general revolt in the Panapolis was proclaimed, and three days later, on the Monday of Holy Week, the great interpreter, representing the Greek community at the Sultan's court, was executed along with other eminent citizens. Foreseeing what his own fate would be, and refusing suggestions that he flee, the patriarch said, How could I abandon my flock? If I am patriarch, it is to save my people, not to give them over to the swords. My death will be of more use than my life, because through it the Greeks will fight with the energy of despair which often produces victory. No, I will not become a laughing stock for the world by taking flight, so that they can point a finger at me and say, Look at the killer patriarch. On Easter Day, on the 10th of April, St. Gregory celebrated the liturgy of the resurrection, calmly and with great solemnity, interrupted only by his tears. At the end of the ceremony, the news of the revolution in the Panapolis was confirmed to him. He then replied, May the Lord's will now as always be done. Only a few hours later, they came to tell him of his deposition, and they took him off to prison with no consideration for his person. Submitted to interrogation and torture, he kept the majestic silence that was only broken when, on their urging him to renounce his faith, he said, the patriarch of the Christians must die a Christian. Shortly afterwards, as soon as a successor was elected by the Holy Synod, he was hanged at the gateway of the patriarchate that has ever since remained closed in commemoration of this wicked act. At the last moment, St. Gregory lifted his hands up to heaven. He blessed the Christians who were present and said, Lord Jesus Christ, receive my spirit. While the Turks were casting stones on the patriarch's corpse, the vizier, who had been charged with the execution, sat smoking in front of it. They left the body hanging for three days, with the document containing the indictment round its neck. Finally, the Jews bought the body for 800 piastres, dragged it through the streets to jibes and cries of triumph, and threw it in the sea. In spite of the heavy rock that was tied to it, the body floated and was recovered by a Greek ship flying Russian colours which took it to Odessa. Venerated by the crowd for several days, the holy relics showed no sign of corruption. In 1871, on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the Greek Revolution, the body of the Holy Patriarch was translated to Athens and was placed in the Metropolitan Cathedral with the greatest solemnity. To thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. As Hierarch the righteous lead, it serve the Saviour of all. In contest thou broughtest thyself unto Christ as a pure and well-pleasing sacrifice. On a bishop's throne thou wast exalted by wisdom. By the hangman's noose thou wast raised up to the heavens, where thou dost pray for all, O divine patriarch Gregory. The charioteer of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. O holy Hiram Arta Gregory, pray to God for us. The springtime breeze of thy martyric victory does cheer the church with its sons. The winter of error could not stand before the warmth of thy most ardent love of Christ. And thy valiant confession has made our souls bloom with piety. O divinely wise Father Gregory, Holy Hiram Arta Gregory, pray to God for us. In thy knowledge, thou didst endure such labours as would tax the powers of youth, and crowning thy struggles, thou wast hung before the gates to grace and ornament the church as a gold gleaming witness to the illustrious faith of Christ which the gates of Hades cannot subdue. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Divine Byzantium, the Mount Athos, Smyrna, and the Peloponnese, the port of Odessa, and now Athens, have all been blessed by thee in life and after death. Be among us as well with your grace, O Patriarch Gregory, blessing us who honour thy memory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who didst earn the bitter winter of our miserable estrangement from God by bearing the springtime of our souls, the sun of righteousness who drives off the gloom, O compassionate Virgin, in thine unspeakable sympathy, free me of my failings and save my soul. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit doth sing thy praise. O holy Hiram Arta Gregory, pray to God for us. Raging waves and settled times and storms on all sides had not the strength to move thy strong and unshaken spirit, which was founded on ceaseless prayer. Holy Hiram Arta Gregory, pray to God for us. Exile to the holy mountain, thou was a patriarch amidst the monks, showing the form of a true ascetic and a worker of ceaseless prayer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Even banished from thy throne, thou didst direct an appointed flock, like the magnificent Athanasius, ever dangerous to thy foes. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Poisoned by the serpent's bite, and caught in passions beyond my strength, I cry to thee as my Saviour's mother, Show thy mercy and rescue me. A godly wise shepherd of the flock elected of Christ, a high priest of blameless life, thou strovest bravely for God of honorable Gregory. On thy bishop's throne was set the crown of a martyr. With the sweat of toes was mixed the blood of confession. And joined to thy great glory on high, is mercy towards us below. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
be knighted in mind by numberless transgressions and sins. Though fallen and prodigal, I dare to lift up my voice and call on thy certain help. Grant light to my soul's eyes, O August Theotokos. Shine on me the most resplendent light of repentance and clothe me in the weapons of light, O thou all blameless one. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou didst feed with the written word, thou didst counsel wisdom in hard and certain times, thou didst teach sound doctrines unto all, and didst seal thy labors with a painful death. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou preferring thy banishment on a mount of Athos in fasting, tolls, and prayer, Thou didst not refuse to take thy throne to protect thy people from the foes despised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Light, ascetic, and passionless, thou wast ever lifted in mind to God in prayer, and in pain didst ride a hangman's noose to the heights of heaven, O wise Gregory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O immaculate bride of God, vessel of the light that shone out in mortal flesh, mediatress of God's love for man, save us in thy mercy from our wayward will. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me, the hapless one, far from thy countenance? And the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou hast mocked and tormented at the hands of Hagarines, Hebrews, and heretics. Now the hosts of heaven show thee honor, transcending the mind of man. And the Lord of glory, in whose reproach thou was a partner, has himself made thee seat on his throne with him. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. As with madness and hatred thy tormented body was dragged through the streets by man, hosts of holy angels drew thy soul up to heaven in majesty, and thy holy body, saved from the sea without corruption, was graced also and honoured, O Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Even now, as a shepherd, look upon thy flock with the merciful eyes of love. See how we are scattered, and true shepherds are few and beleaguered so. Never cease from pleading with God to overlook our failings and to bring us where thou art, O Gregory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. If the Lord spared the kingdom for the sake of David, who fell as a man of flesh, what unbounded mercy we can hope to receive for the sake of thee, who in virgin pureness didst bear the Lord desiring mercy, who with pleadings as he sub can cleanse our soul. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried. O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy Hieromarta Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou hast the giver of alms, thou fetch souls to the word of God, Thou was a pattern of faith and virtue and fortitude in bitter adversity, and thy greatest teaching was thy martyrdom, O Gregory. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Although not sparing thyself, thou hadst great care for thy faithful flock, and didst direct them with fervent counsels to caution and to patience beneath the yoke. But in sudden danger thou thyself was bold in braving death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To thy beneficent care, O most magnanimous Gregory, do I entrust the defence and cure of my soul, and its afflictions and its maladies, 
for the strong spirit of command it to assist the weak. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That blood Christ shed on the cross poured forth to ransom our fallen race. He took from thine all untainted blood in becoming man from thee for his mercy's sake. Wherefore we revere thee as our bridge to God, O Bride of God. From thy youth thou tookest up the Saviour's cross on thy shoulders to receive upon thy neck the hangman's noose in thine old age. Youthful lusts had not deceived thee when strong in body. Weak old age could not unnerve thy martyric courage. And so, Gregory, we honor thy great contentions for love of Christ and his church. In the ways of the gospel that it's direct thy life aright, O Father, and by divine providence thou tookest in hand the rudder of the church of Byzantium, piloting her safely and unerringly to the haven of the Lord's will, when she was tossed in the surging storm of long servitude, and the contrary winds of the tyrant's madness and cruelty. And like the chief helmsman himself, thou dost lay down thy life for her sake. Hence, O Gregory, we honor thy great contentions for love of Christ and his church. And so, Gregory, we honor thy great contentions for love of Christ and his church. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. The fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy Hiram Martyr Gregory, pray to God for us. As a patron of letters, thou didst toil to distribute the written word of God, whereby the saving doctrine of Christ was taught thy nurslings, who in piety cried with thee, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Holy Hiram Martyr Gregory, pray to God for As us. As a worker of mercy, thou didst give all thou hadst to the poor and suffering, dispatching all thy treasure before thee to the kingdom, where, O Gregory, thou dost shout, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a counselor to caution, thou didst hold back thy people from all untimely strife, but as a valiant martyr thou ranst to thine own death, crying out with exultant heart, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Being naked of virtue and the sport of the demons who enter as they will, I flee to the O Lady, the surety of sinners, who does save all that cry in faith. O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God, who has seen of old on the holy mountain glory, who by the fiery bush revealed the great mystery of the ever-virgin and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. O holy Hiramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Now the city of Athens has thy body as a glory and boast and a rock of right confession, and all the church possesses thee as advocate with the Lord Almighty, mediating mercy and guiding to salvation. Holy Hiram Arthur Gregory, pray to God for us. A captivity grievous and an ending have I brought on myself through long established habit. O Gregory, thou pattern of the liberty that is in Jesus Christ, Liberate thy servant and break my yoke in peace. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Though the rope of the noose was only earthly, it was found to extend to heaven as a ladder, 
whereby thou didst ascend with joy, O Gregory, and wherewith thou breaks all the snares and meshes and treacheries of demons. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Day by day passes idle and unfruitful. Soon the judgment shall come and find me unrepentant. But mightily convert my soul and grant to me grace to grow in virtue, healing of the passions and mercy, O my lady. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. And lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels, magnify thy name. O holy Hieromarta Gregory, pray to God for us. Thy prudence in thy dealings with those without was a wall to thy vineyard, protecting it from deadly storms. And thy life of labors ploughed up the ground of hearts, which thou didst sow with skill to bring forth the fair fruit of piety. And with thy death in valour thou smote the destroyer and brought forth a hundredfold to Christ. Holy Hieromarta Gregory, pray to God for us. Thy fatherly affection, thy humble mind, thine ascetic greatness, thy doing of unceasing prayer, thine ungrudging ministry unto all, thy strength of faith, thy diligence, Thine unshaken courage in every blow, adorn thy priestly office with never-fading glory, O Patriarch and Martyr Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O great in holy boldness before the Lord, O exalted in mercy to all who call on thee with faith, even now invisibly with us, and champion the Saviour's flock, keeping one by one, as his little sheep, the noose pulled thee to heaven, but drew not thine affections from them that long for thee, O Gregory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The sorrow of our exile from paradise and our sojourn as destitute strangers in a foreign land, thou hast rendered easy and light to bear by bearing our deliverer who has blazed our path to the life on high, and by thy visitations of sweet consoling mercy to those who load thee as the Queen of all. The golden horn on receiving thy holy gold gleaming body it not into her bosom, but held thee high on her waters, who had exalted the horn of thy suffering people by thy confession. Holy Mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great brand and the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of our Father among the saints, Gregory the Fifth, the new Haramata, Archbishop of Constantinople and Ecumenical Patriarch, who suffered martyrdom by hanging in Constantinople in 
18 and 21, on the feast of Pascha, with the prayers of the holy martyrs of Carthage, Tyrants, Africanus, Maximus, Pompey, and another 36, and also those with Macarius, Zeno, Alexander, and Theodore, with the prayers of the holy prophetess Olda, who prophesied in the days of Josiah, king of Judah, with the prayers of the holy martyrs James, the presbyter, and Azaz, the deacon of Persia, with the prayers of the holy new martyr Demas, who was beheaded in Smyrna in 1763, with the prayers of the holy righteous martyrs of Georgia, who was slain during the invasion of Tamerlane in 1386, with the prayers of St. Bioka and St. Paternus and those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.